Hey and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I woke up with a wonderful idea for a video today. Um, probably, probably the most asked questions that I get on my channel is about what is the best of everything to use on your dog. What's the best leash? What's the best harness? Treats? So I decided that um, it might be a good idea for me to start reviewing things on my channel. And today I'm going to Walmart and I'm going to be buying every leash they have and I'm going to be testing them on my own dogs to see which leashes I like, which ones I don't like and kind of review them fully and uh, let you guys know, you know if I recommend them or not. Um, I'm headed to Walmart right now. I don't even know how many different leashes they have there, but I'm going to buy all of them, one of each time, and I'm going to review them for you guys right now. So stay tuned. This video is not sponsored by Walmart. Everything that I talk about in this video is my own opinion. They're not paying me to talk about that leashes or anything. Um, I'm going to let you guys know exactly how I feel about them and give you my honest opinion on the leashes. Um, let me know if you guys do like this type of video, if you like this idea, because I will continue to make more videos reviewing other dog products and let you guys know from my experience and all my knowledge with dogs and my years of being around dogs if I would recommend the product or not. If you guys do think that would be a good idea, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share the video with your friends. I get that question a lot. You know, people are curious about what I use on my dogs. Walmart is not paying me. This is really my honest opinion of what I think of each one of their leashes. So I'm gonna buy all of them and I will let you guys know exactly what I think about them um, and why. So I'm gonna go over like every detail of the, uh, every leash. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, definitely don't forget to like the video. I'm headed to Walmart right now. Um, let's see what kind of leashes we're gonna find there. Honestly, um, I'm not too sure, you know, all the different brands that they have um, and how many different types of leashes they will have. So um, it's gonna be a surprise for all of us. Um, we're about to find okay, out. Guys, we are at Walmart. Uh, let's go find some leashes. Let's see what they have, right? You ready, girl? You gonna help me? So I got Carolina to help daddy. Uh, well, there's not much to help with because we're just gonna buy all of them. So let's find the pet supply aisle. aisle. Let's find the pet supply aisle. Right here. Um. Hmm. They got quite a few of them. Let's see. We'll need what color? Let's get. We're gonna get this one. Vibrant life leash for dogs. We're gonna get the blue one, and then we have. Let's get a. Um, let's get a black one out of this. This type. This is um, another vibrant life leash reflective what else we got let's put this down here so we know what we're taking then we got this let's see if these are the same type yeah there's a comfort also by vibrant life we're gonna get the light blue one then we have this what is this also um, by comfort large leash down here. Right. Zits. Gracias. And then, is this the same? Yeah, so this, the purple one and the blue one are the same. Um, then we got this leash. So the Hunter. All by Vibrant. So it's the Hunter leash. Get that one. Then we got this. What is this? Pet Champion Extra Large. I'm gonna get this. That one. What else we have? Uh, okay. The retractable. Large retractable leash. I'm gonna get one of these. Yep, let's get this one. What else? Um... Did I get this leash already? Oh no, so it's this, this one too. 
Does it have a label on it? All he says is reflective. Um, so I think I have one of those. Leash bio. Um, I think that's all they have for leashes. Ready to go home and try them on again? Okay, here we go. Y'all leashes today. Mm -hmm. I'm reviewing y'all leashes today on my channel to see which ones are good. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll be trying them all to see which ones are the best, the best ones. What do you think? Ain't no way. You're on my Ain't YouTube no channel. Way. <laughs> do not. <laughs> I look a whole see, she, he, he wants to see you on YouTube. No, I look a you want to be on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Flex. Stop putting me on. Alright, good. How are you? Good, good. Today I'm reviewing all your dog leashes from Walmart uh -huh. on my YouTube channel. So like, see all the leashes in here? I got one of each. Okay, okay. See which ones work beautiful. best. <laughs> okay, so be right with you, okay, honey? Okay. Alright, thank you. Um, yep, A-U-O, and then space, T-H-E. Mm -hmm. And I post a lot of like training videos, so, you know, they can actually... Do you train like other people? Yeah, I train all breeds. Sometimes I work with the owners actually, like, and then teach them how to train. So you will train my dog when I get it? Yeah. Okay, so we're back home with all the leashes we got at Walmart. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different leashes um, to review. What I'm gonna do is um, see which one of them, like look at them all, you know, from one end to the other. I'm gonna try them on, on my dogs and then I'm going to come back, sit down and put, give you guys my opinion um, on each one of them and see which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Let's get started. The very first one we're going to try is uh, just a regular large six foot dog leash. Um, this leash is priced at $6.37. Um, let's get this open here. Usually just break the, the thing. Might have to get a knife. Okay, here we go. Back up. Okay, so here we have the leash. So this leash, let's see. So believe it or not, um, right off the bat, I don't like the texture. So for me, a big thing with a good leashes is good a good um, a, a leash that you can have, get a good grip on. So I do not like leashes that um, I don't know how to explain, but they're almost like they're sharp on the side. Like they're not as easy for you to hold on to them. I feel like this leash, if you have a dog um, that is pulling at you and you haven't trained yet, or even um, I don't know, if you keep sliding your hand on this, your hand is actually gonna get sore from this leash. Um, I don't like, see how it's kind of like hard. They won't, it won't really like fold. It's not a soft material. Um, I think the leash looks cool. I don't like the texture right off the bat. And um, let's see the, the clipper here. Like you guys can see, um, it's a traditional. I, I think this one is also not gonna be strong. 
um, like for most dogs, this wouldn't be like a strong enough leash. We're gonna put it on one of my dogs. Um, I mean, it's an okay leash for the price. I mean, it's, it's the cheapest, let's see. Um, yeah, out of all the leashes that I got, this is the cheapest leash that they have available and um, not my favorite so far. So let's go to the next one. Okay, now we have the retractable leash that they sell at Walmart. Um, of, this was $10.37. It's a very expensive leash. This is actually a leash for only small dogs. So the larger they, the dog, the, um, the more expensive uh, these, are, they, these are gonna be. I think they run into the 20 something dollars. I forgot, I looked over there. Um, but definitely more expensive and I am not even going to try this on my dog. I just bought it so I can talk about it because of course that's something that most people are familiar with and I see a lot of um, new dog owners that, you know, they don't know better so they go and they buy this, this type of um, leash. So, the retractable leash. Here we go. Uh, so here we go. It comes... Basically, the way that it works, it's, it's designed that you can control how much space your dog have on the leash. So you can lock it here. Why is it not locking? Oh, I guess this one doesn't even automatically lock. Usually, they will have a button here that you press and it, you know, it's, it locks the leash at that, the size that you want the dog to have. So you can give them, you know, a few feet or you can give them, I don't even know how many feet this how long this goes let's see oh it's not saying anywhere anyway it might be here somewhere i can't find um the size of this leash but anyway, um, basically, this, like I said, either this one is broken or it's just the brand. Oh no, I figured it out, all right. So this one, you have to push it down and then pull, push it that way. So down and then forward. Um, so basically the way that this leash is designed is you uh, can control how much space your dog is gonna have on the leash. So let's say you want your dog to be on, uh, you know, next to you, you'd basically, close this right here. You press it down and then forward, down and forward, and you lock. So now the dog is, you know, restrained. Now, when you uh, wanted to allow your dog to have more space, you just keep it loose and let it keep, continue to go. So here we go, it goes, and you go, and you go, and it goes. So basically your dog can be all the way there and your hand is over here, so what this causes is a lot of people allowing their dogs to have too much freedom and it, it, very little control, you know? So if you need to get a, a hold of your dog and they're not completely trained and they are 10 feet away from you, it's gonna be much harder than to get a, a hold of your dog if they're next to you. Uh, there's many reasons why I don't recommend this. This is almost, for the majority of dog owners, they use it very irresponsibly. So if you want your dog to have more space, you know, to, to run an exercise, teach them to be off leash, bring them in a fenced in yard, or even, even if you use a regular 20 foot long lead, it will be better than this. This one, it, you have no control of your dog. That's the, the biggest problem with this. So I don't recommend. Uh, plus, even though this is for small dogs, I mean, it says up to 40 pounds. This little latch right here would not be strong enough. Like even a 40 pound dog can make this open. So like, I don't like this. I don't like this leash at all. So it costed $9 and 22 cents. Um, I do like the leash itself. Um, as far as the material or the texture, you know, again, good grip, easy. It won't slide, it won't burn your hand. Even if you have a dog that pulls, this will be a, a easy leash to hold on to. I like the size, this is a six foot leash um the only thing that i don't like about this leash is that i don't find that this is strong enough you definitely want to have a clipper here that is going to be more um resistant to you know dogs that are still pulling because you don't want your dog that is not trained to escape from the leash and run away or attack another dog or you know whatever i i look at all these different scenarios because i work with a lot of dogs and i know 
um, you know, a lot of dogs are, would not be pretty if they got off leash um, at the wrong place at the wrong time. So, okay, so the next leash, um, I do like how it looks. It's got the handle. Um, I like, let's see. Um, I do like the material. I do find it's easy enough to get a good grip on this leash. Um, nothing like the first one that I showed you, the blue one. Um, see, this one will fold more easily. Um, it's just easier, just easier for the handler to hold on to. Um, this is a six foot lead, so it's a good size for regular dog walking. Now, I like the clipper on this one a little bit better. If you, I'll bring the other one back here and you can see the difference in size. I don't know if you can see in the video, but um, this one is smaller. This one is just like a little bit thicker and it's gonna be obviously a little more resistant because of that. So um, I, I find that this leash is stronger and more reliable. This one, um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I would definitely use. I will go back and say that I, I have like on, a, on emergency situations used these leashes. Like if sometimes I would take extra dogs out and not have enough leashes in the car. So I have to go to the store and buy one last minute. I have bought these and they, as a matter of fact, they have broken on me. So I, even by feeling them here, there's a big difference. This one is like, I can feel the sturdiness in this one. And this one is just something that is like, you know, maybe for a puppy, it's okay. I would not trust it with a, an adult or larger dog. So this one I do like, um, I do recommend if you want to give it a try. I, I mean, I, I, I don't think you can go wrong with it. It's just a regular leash. Uh, this was $8.88, so not bad. Let's go to the next one. Next, we have this um, just a green rope leash. It costed um, $12.22, the most expensive one so far. Um, I, off the bat, do not like um, how it, it, it extends. See, I don't like that. Um, I, the handle is kind of silly. I don't really care for it. Um, again, this one will burn your hand. Do you see how it's hard to get a grip? It slides. Look, this is what I was talking about earlier. You want something that you have a good grip when you're walking your dog. Um, it, it, you want it to be as quickly as possible. When you apply pressure, you want your dog you know, instantly to feel that pressure. So if the, the leash is here, you do this, see how, it, look, it's not gonna go directly to your dog, it's gonna break. And you know, this is like in order to be more gentle with the dog or whatever, but you don't have to yank your dog's neck, but you definitely want to have something. The, obviously the leash is there so you can keep your dog, you know, restrained, um, and you, you can use the leash to communicate with them. I don't like the texture, I don't like how it slides, you'll burn your hand, like I said, you'll hurt your hand, your hand. Um, and um, I find, I don't know, the handle is silly, and then the this here, very weak, probably the worst one that I have seen in all of the leashes. Um, this is not reliable, so especially if you have a large dog, a strong dog, or a dog that is not trained, off leash, I definitely don't want them to break off the leash in this here. It's just a matter of time. So do not recommend this leash. Let's try the next one. Okay, so next we have this orange, I believe it's called like a hunter's leash. Yeah, hunter's leash. Um, it, it, it costed $11.73. It is almost like a Double, I don't know how you know I would describe this stuff, but if you look at closely, it's almost like two leashes put together, so it's a little thicker than the other leashes. Um, I don't mind the texture is good, good grip. See if I it does not slide, it won't hurt your hand. Um, a little bit harder to hold, let's say you have five, six dogs, you know, most people don't, but even if you have a few dogs, you're gonna put three of these leashes together in your hand. It, they're not gonna fold as easily. They're thicker. Obviously, there's gonna be more for you, for you to hold. Um, nothing wrong with it. It is obviously designed to be more resistant. Although all the other ones, as far as the the leash themselves, not counting the the clipper, they will hold any dog. They shouldn't break. Uh, if a dog wanna chew, you know, they will chew this through just like they would chew the other ones. So uh, a little bit pointless, you know, in my opinion, I get the idea, but a little bit pointless to to make them thicker like this. 
Um, but again, just if you like this, if you like something that's like looks sturdier, sturdier, <laughs> sturdier, um, then go for it. You know, I don't see anything wrong with the leash. I like um, how the design, whatever. It's just a basic leash. Um, again, it costed eleven dollars and seventy three cents, and the clipper is a little bit better than the other ones. So um, it does open a little bit easier than I like to see. But it is it does look more resistant. It is a little bit also like where it opens is not like right up here, it's down there. So the, the you know the collar ring would be right here, and basically um, that would, that alone would deter it from sliding out for the most part. So this is a good regular leash that you can get for an ev everyday walking. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I would recommend if you look at it and you like it, then there's not, no reason not to use it. Let's try the next one. Okay, next leash, we have this um, green, large green leash. It's um, seven foot and it costed $12.22. So this one and um, that rope one that I don't like, um, actually the two most expensive leashes, but I do like the material. Again, good, easy to get a good grip on, resistant. Um, I do like how it looks. It's a cool leash. Uh, um, uh, let's see. So nothing wrong with it. I, I like what, how it looks. Um, the handle, I use, never really use handles, so they're kind of pointless for me. Um, the clipper here, I would like this to be, see what I would like to see is on this leash, it's way thicker, you can see that, um, but it opens up way easier, look, it's very easy to open, this one, on the other hand, is a little bit harder, what I would like to see is this thickness of the clipper with this type of, um, resistance, you know, to open. So it doesn't open so easily. That would make the perfect leash. If you, if I took and changed that a little bit on both of these leashes, I think they would be perfect for everyday walking. Um, I do like this. None of these leashes are leashes that I use on a regular basis. So ironically, I do not find any of the leashes that I do use. I will be making videos where I show you guys what I do like and recommend. These are new. I will be trying all of them on a regular basis a little bit just so that I can, you know, get a, a better feel for them but i know right off the bat at this point which leashes are will work for me and which ones will not we're gonna go to the very last leash i think i did give you the price of that leash right there right it was 12 dollars and 22 cents now this one is another leash that they sell at walmart um it's an all chain leash now um it's a heavy heavier it's a heavy leash um it costed it was Almost the cheapest leash, other than the first one. This cost is seven dollars and seventy-two cents. Um, I don't like this at all because, first of all, again, hard to hold. Your hand's gonna get, imagine in the summer your hand gets sweaty. This is gonna slide. It's just something heavy for you and your dog to carry. Um, if your dog decides to mouth at the leash, you should train them to stop. But if they do on a leash like this, they can damage their teeth. They can get hurt easily. Um, it's just heavy. Um, you know, it's not dogs shouldn't be tied out on a leash by themselves. So other than this, it will be chew. Uh, they can chew through it. They shouldn't have to get. They shouldn't have that chance to chew any leash anyway. So if that's the only purpose for this leash, you know, you should reconsider um, having a dog. But I don't like this, um, mainly because it's all chain, it's heavy. I don't see the purpose for it. I don't see the need for it. Um, the clipper is good. Um, probably one of the best ones that I have seen like this is what I was telling about. It has the thickness of the orange leash here and it's not as easy to open. I have to apply a lot more pressure to open it. So you'd be more resistant for, to hold you know, a dog if they're pulling on the leash. Or well, sometimes, you know, they're not pulling that much, but I'm saying, I'm telling you, even when they lean a little bit on the leash, some of these will just break loose and the dog will be loose. So I do not approve 
of this last week. Um, so there's mainly two of them here that I really do not recommend. I would not use whether it's a puppy, a trained dog, I don't care. I would not use this one or the retractable leaf. All the other ones are okay. You know, goes to personal preference. Let me know what you guys think of these leashes. Let me know if you guys have tried using any of them at home. Let me know if you guys like this video and you want me to make more with different leashes, different dog products. Like I said, I will be making a video about the leashes that I do, the products that I do already like for sure that I have been using for a while and that I recommend. Um, but for a quick review here, this, is, this leash is okay. This leash is okay. This leash is okay. This one, my, uh, my first least favorite, but not the very least favorite. Um, and then this one, also one of my least favorite. This one, not my favorite. And this one, my uh, probably my very least favorite. And this one, another one of my least favorites. So, no, 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 no. Maybe if you want to get your hand burned when you're walking your dog and calluses and stuff. No. Yes. Yes. And yes. I do like these three leashes for everyday walking. Nothing crazy. I mean, just, it's just, it's just a leash. You know? So. You hurt me, you did, several times It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with than without you Oh
it for today. Um, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next upcoming videos. Um, let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you like the leashes that I like and if you have any leashes that, or any products that you think I should review next. Uh, let me know if you like this type of idea that I come up with, with to review different products because if you guys want to see more of that, I would definitely be interested in uh, making videos on you know, reviewing different products. Um, but that's it. I will see you guys next time.